for coming back to Defining Glamour. I hope everyone had an awesome and a fab weekend with their family and friends. Today is Monday, so I did want to go ahead and do one of the reviews like I usually do. Last week, I missed a review video because I didn't get my products in. I'm still waiting for a lot more things that I shopped uh, to come in so that I can go ahead and do the the review videos but today's video is all about Clinique's new liquid matte lipsticks that they came out with from their pop uh, collection line so it's more of from their ColourPop collection and I'm super super excited to give you guys my reviews, opinions and my recommendations if I would recommend them or not they're super affordable and I'm going to divide this uh, video into two parts like always so I'm going to have the first part talking about the the packaging, where you can buy them, and all the good stuff about the product. And then the second half of this video is going to be more of the swatches, the colors, just going in detail about the pigmentation of this, these lipsticks. So these are new in the market, so I really hope you guys enjoyed them. And But first, before we get started, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Hina. I do upload beauty videos every week, so if you would like to stay updated on my future videos, then please stay with me. So this is the product that I will be talking about. This is called the Clinique Pop Liquid matte lip color plus primer this is how the little packaging looks like it's a little uh, tube it has the name the number of the uh, product as well as the name right on top of it and I think it's a really really cute package so you can find these uh, lipsticks at either Clinique's official website on cliniquecosmetics.com uh, or you can um, find them at thebait.com so they're not available at Sephora yet and I'm not too sure when they will be avail available at Sephora but I'm subscribed to Look Fantastic uh, subscription box which is a monthly box and I received one of the magazines in there and they that's how I found out that they will be releasing these um, matte liquid lipsticks and I was super super excited to try them out because they're super affordable so talking about the price these retail for $23 at the moment when you open up the package this is how the little cute little tube looks like like, so in $23, you are getting about 6 ml of, of a bottle of a product inside this. These are actually available in only 8 shades at the moment. And I am going to go ahead and uh, show you guys all of the shades available. So I have all the 8 shades for you guys to take a look at and see if you like them. These do have a moisturizing formula in them, built in them, which is why they are super moisturizing and uh, they glide on seamlessly they glide on very nicely onto your lips when you open up the tube this is how the little cute little wand looks like it's pretty small um, it does not have that diamond shape applicator however it has a very straight applicator to it it's very soft it's very pointed so it has more of an oval shape to it from the top really nice applicator though because it's really easy to work with a smaller wand and get that position that you're wanting although that it does not have a diamond applicator to it now these do not completely have a matte finish these are more of suede matte finish lipstick is a suede matte finish then that means that you're gonna see a little bit of transferable product on so onto like you know something you're eating or drinking and don't wear all day in two to three hours i did notice that um, my lips were not drying, they were still moisturized, but I could see a little bit of cracks in between the, the lips and which means that the product was was kind of like rubbing off. So they're not, uh, they're not, they don't last all day. Are allergy tested as well as 100% fragrance free, free. Like I said earlier, the, these do uh, go on very seamlessly. They are very moisturizing on the lips. They don't feather, um, so they don't go all over your lips when you're applying them, which is a which means that the product does not feather, which is really nice. I did apply my BH Cosmetics lip liner. Um, I do have one of the colors on right now, and I think it's a very beautiful color. Talking about the colors and the shades now, these only, like I said earlier, these only come within eight shades, so you don't have much options. And they don't have more, you know, if you're a neutral person, they don't have any neutral colors in these. These are more pop of color for the holidays that is coming up, for the fall, and things like that. So you're gonna see a lot of berries, a lot of, you know, magentas, few and pick in this line and that's all that they have available as far as the pigmentation go on these they are super pigmented one application is good enough for the uh, two to three hours after the two to three hours I did notice that I have to reapply a second coat of my of my liquid lipstick so that's something that's there 
these do give you a very fresh look a very modern look when i saw these in the magazine when the model was wearing them um that's how i thought of of trying to grab them and you know trying out some of these colors and i think these are for all skin types so um you know all the deep and the cool and the warm tones that this the the eight shades has i think it's gonna look gorgeous on any skin tone yeah that's all i have to say about about this mini little clinic um pop color liquid lipstick now would i recommend these to anybody i would recommend these they are super affordable for once um i would recommend these to anybody who likes first of all who likes pop of colors because when you look at the colors the shades um that's the first thing that comes in mind second they are moisturizing so that's a really good thing about it because they're not long long lasting so i don't know um if you're looking for a product a liquid lipstick that will last you all day from morning to night then this is probably not for you if that's a concern so it really depends what your concern is um, when you are purchasing a liquid lipstick so that's all i have to say about these we're going to go ahead and talk about a little bit more about the colors and the shades and you're going to go ahead and see the swatches now the first lip color is called Candid Apple Pop. This is a cool tone red shade with a pink undertone to it. Now all of these shades are universal so they will look beautiful on any skin tone. The second color is called Petal Pop. It is almost like a bubblegum pink. It's a very cool tone shade with a light pink undertone to it. The third shade is my absolute favorite. This is called the Black Licorice Pop. This is a beautiful cool pink undertone shade with a mixture of black and purple to it. And the purple is what you see on the lips. The fourth shade is called Cake Pop. This is a very pale pink lip color and has a cool tone to it as well. And this can become a neutral pink for light skin tones. The fifth shade is another favorite of mine. It's called the Flame Pop. It's a warm red lip color with an orange undertone to it. I think this is a perfect combination of red and orange. The sixth shade is called Ripe Pop. This shade was a little patchy when applying and not super pigmented. But this is more of a warm pink with a peach undertone to it. The seventh shade is called Boom Pop. This shade is also very patchy when applying. It's not super pigmented either, but it's a lighter version of the black licorice pop shade and it has a warm purple and burgundy tone to it. And the very last color is called Sweetheart Pop. This is a warm pink with a hint of red undertone to it and this is the only real pink shade in this line that can be worn every day. And that is it you guys. I hope you like this review and swatches on the new Clinique liquid lipsticks. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more reviews on Mondays. Have an awesome week you guys. Talk to you in my next video. Be safe. Bye!